Lesson one, what is the Power Vision? Thank you for choosing to view this online Harley Power Vision theory course. These videos are designed to be used in conjunction with the downloadable PDF ebook. The chapters in the book coincide with these video chapters. Each video was kept as short as possible to make it easier for you to review areas you may have questions about. Please watch all the videos at least once to prepare yourself for your upcoming training. If you have a question, we urge you to rewatch the video covering that topic. If you still have a question, or you have a question about something not covered in the video, please fill out the tech question form on the website. We are always adding and updating the training, so please check back often, and be sure to join the email list to keep up to date. What is the Power Vision? It's a flash tuner. Flash tuner allows us to change the data on the reference or lookup tables inside the ECM. The ECM uses these tables to calculate injector pulse width um, and, and to calculate the um, ignition timing. Um, by using these tables and modifying them, we can control how the tune of the bike is, as well as, more importantly, calibrate it to match the changes that we make with the motorcycle, from cams, exhaust, and so on. The objective for using the power vision is to calibrate the ECM. This ensures the bike will run its best under the ever-changing air conditions caused by weather and altitude changes. It gives us better overall performance, better gas mileage, better drivability, higher power output, happy customers, and improved sales and service. Power vision positives. Will not damage the motorcycle. Well, if you don't tune it proper, it could. Can easily be returned to a starting point or back where you originally, Cal, you originally pulled out of the ECM when you married the power vision to it. Adjust air values and ignition timing for each cylinder independently. Pick desired air fuel ratios for the tune. Uh, control the accelerator enrichment. Adjust the RPM limit, injector size, and the cubic inch displacement. Adjust warm-up and cranking fuel. Monitor and record data on a dyno and on track or a private road course. Read and clear codes from the ECM. Able or disable knock sense, engine temperature management, heat, ACRs, active intake, active exhaust. Um, oxygen sensors can remain intact, and we can actually uh, adjust the closed loop target so that we can still run closed loop and take advantage of that, having that tool, which helps address to correct for different fuel blends you might get, um, but still make it run just a little bit richer than what they run at from the factory, but keep closed loop turned on. It's a good tool. Um, it doesn't run along. It's not piggybacks. So you don't get the water intrusion and any other issues you might get from a piggyback box. Um, throttle progressivity table. We can adjust the throttle progressivity tables on electronic throttle control bike. Um, we can adjust the air, fuel, and spark tables uh, based off of manifold pressure or engine load. So that way we can richen things up when the engine's working harder, pull timing out when the engine's working harder. Um, the base cal is set up for any cam. Um, we can calibrate speedometers. This is the end of Lesson 1.